Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I normally talk about things I'm passionate about, like movies, comic books, video games, I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If uh, that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. If you like what you see, do subscribe. I'm going to talk about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, okay? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movies in this franchise at right, right this time, okay? This is September of 2016 when I'm recording this video. Some of you guys were watching in 2020, right? Because uh, hopefully YouTube's still around around that time. You guys will be commenting on this video and being like, like, like David, where's Letterface from, from 2017 or 2018? Or whenever that movie's going to come out, you know? <clears throat> No, it's not out here. Right now, at this time, these are the movies we have, okay? There's some people who don't seem to understand that. People still commenting on my um, Call of Duty uh, Ghost unboxing video from 2013. Like, I went to the midnight release, I bought the game, and I unboxed it on my YouTube channel, okay? I made that video in 2013. People watch that Call of Duty Ghost unboxing video, and they're like, Dude, where's Black Ops 3? Where's Advanced Warfare? Where's all... I just don't understand people, you know? It's like, I recorded that video in 2013. Those games were not, were not yet. So I unboxed the game. I put it with the rest of my collection. Was, Look, here's my entire collection of Call of Duty games so far. And people were like, dude, you don't have Black Ops 3. You're a terrible fan. You're not a gamer. You don't have Advanced Warfare in this video. Dude, I recorded that video in 2013. Those video games didn't even exist at the time. So I, I, just, I just don't get it, man. So <clears throat> it's 2016. I don't know what, 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 when you're watching this video, but it's 2016 right now, okay? No, I do not have the Disney Channel original animated movie for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't have the... the, the, the it's not out yet, okay? <clears throat> That'd be pretty funny, though, if Disney didn't make a Texas Chainsaw movie. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to um, <clears throat> talk about all the movies we have here. I actually have not seen all of them. Some of these I just, I just bought for this video, all right? So I got the complete franchise now. Just have I did, I'll, I'll get to watching it sooner or later. I didn't see the first one though. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here's a special edition. Came out in 1974. I like the box art, by the way. Simple yet uh, yet nice. There's the disc, special edition. All right. Let's take a look at some of these special features. Let's see. We got a new widescreen transfer, a new stereo surround uh, uh, mix. And it also comes with the original mono uh, soundtrack. We also got the audio commentary with the director, director of photography. Like, these people will be talking with you as you're watching the movie, okay? Deleted scenes, alternate footage. We've got blooper reels, still photos, theatrical trailers. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say that, oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's an actual true story. No. Uh, it's inspired by true events, but this is not like a documentary of the actual events, okay? There seems, there seems to be a lot of misconception with that. Oh, I watched Texas Chains Chainsaw Massacre, that's based on a true story, so they start writing school papers and stuff like that, uh, revolving around it. It's inspired by events. There were, there was a story, you know, of a group of friends trying to visit a family home or whatever, and there were like cannibals, and there was like a, a murderer on the loose, a body snatcher, and uh, you know, all that stuff, serial killer on the loose and stuff, but uh, no, the yeah, the letter face and the, 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 the events of this uh, movie are all fictional, all right? But it's inspired by actual true events. Just got this one. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Still in the box. $7.99. The gruesome edition. So I'll watch this eventually, probably right after I make this video. What special features does this have? Audio commentary with the director. Audio commentary with the actors. I would rather watch... The, the actors' ones is more interesting to me because it's more fun to watch. People are like, oh, they made me do this, and why did I have to dress like this and stuff like that? It's pretty funny. The directors is more like, oh, okay, if you want to learn about something, about the, the, uh, the production of the movie, you know? But when you're listening to the actors, sometimes they're like, they're like super annoyed because this person would do this and whatever. Oh, I remember I went out for lunch that day. I missed the complete videotaping of this, this scene or whatever, you know? That's good stuff. The cutting room floor, deleted scenes. That's what I would, would like to see. Sometimes when you're watching, uh, you know, on Netflix or whatever, they don't include the deleted scenes. Still galleries, and there's a "It Runs in the Family" featurette. Very nice. All right. So I'll watch this eventually. 
Letterface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. <clears throat> it includes the R-rated and unrated versions. This movie came out in 1990. The previous came out in 1986, by the way. The same year I was born. <clears throat> There's a disc. <laughs> there was a dude who um, cosplayed it as Letterface to uh, Comic-Con. I had a picture with him. It wasn't called Comic-Con, it was called uh, Crypticon. Crypt, as in like a, you know, like a crypt. Okay, what special features do we have? We've got this little annoying sticker in the way. Rated and unrated versions, widescreen, Dolby Digital 5.1, uh, DTS 6.1 surround sound, stereo surround sound, closed captionings. Okay, there it is. There's the good stuff. Filmmaker commentary. We got a, a Letterface documentary here, deleted scenes, alternate ending, theatrical trailers. Good stuff, man. All right, there it is. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. This movie came out in 1994. Matthew McConaughey, oh my gosh, look how young he, he looked. <laughs> Renee Zellweger, too. All right. There's the disc. Looks like it's two-sided. Is it the obvious? Side A is widescreen. Yep, okay. Widescreen and full screen on each side. They have a little uh, scene selection thing right here. <clears throat> special features. Interactive menus. That's a special feature. Widescreen, full screen formats. Digitally remastered. Those are special features, apparently. The only thing I see here... Look at this. Look at this, 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 this uh, special features section on this DVD, man. Scene selection, interactive menus, widescreen. They have to digitally remaster... Like, that, that's not special features to me, alright? That should be featured as part of DVD. That, that should be like the standards, you know? Talent and filmographies, theatrical tra that's the only thing I see here that's a real special feature is the theatrical trailer. Everything else here that I see is not considered a special feature to me. They, those should be like standard stuff that comes with DVDs. Having menus, being digital, having widescreen and full screen formats, a scene selection, that, that shouldn't be put in the special features section. I don't know, gosh darn these people. <laughs> All right. 2013, we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, inspired, not based, inspired by a true story, okay? The scariest film in years. There it is, the disc. We got a pretty nice looking scene selection there. They kind of got rid of these, by the way. They don't put scene selection papers inside the DVDs anymore. All right, let's hope the special features on this one are a little bit better. Wait a sec, they don't even have any. Just normal DVD features. Oh wait, they have a music video, a couple TV spots, they have a trailer, but look, oh my gosh, look at this. 5.1 surround sound, DTS surround sound, stereo surround sound, what the heck, those like, English subtitles, Spanish subtitles. For me, a special feature is like a documentary, a featurette, interviews, behind the scenes stuff, audio commentaries. You know what I'm saying? Having subtitles, interactive menus, a scene selection. They should, they, those should be posted down here. You see this down here? How it includes, okay, it's in English. Okay, it's in English. There's Spanish subtitles. That's enough. Just say it down here. Look. Audio. It's got the 5.1 surround sound. It's got the English surround sound. It's got the DTS. That's all you need to say. You don't need to put it right here in the special features section. <clears throat> I'm, <laughs> I'm in a bad mood today, am I? I'm a... <clears throat> the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Beginnings, prequel movie, came out in 2006. Oop. That's my receipt from when I bought it. 
There's a disc. I like it. I like the artwork. Okay. All right. Special features. Look at that. They're learning. They didn't say anything about. So we got the uh, direct uh, the uh, feature deleted scenes with audio commentary from the director and the producers. Right. We got deleted and extended scenes. Down to the bone behind the scenes documentary. That's what I'm talking about. Now, down here, yes, English subtitles, Spanish subtitles, closed captioning. All right, it's got all the, it's got 5.1 surround sound and DTS audio. There you go. That's how it should be done. They're learning. All right, that's how you do it. Texas Chainsaw 3D, that's what they called it when it at the time it came out, okay? It came out in 2013. I got, uh, my friends invited me to uh, watch this movie in theaters with them, and I didn't go that day. Right? There it is, I just got the Blu-ray for the, the 2D version. They, they do have a 3D copy of this also, but uh, for this kind of price, I just got the Blu-ray. Alright? Special features, oh my gosh, look at all these. Multiple audio commentaries with producers, filmmakers, and actors. Jeez Louise. Texas Chainsaw Legacy featurette. That's a good one to watch. Resurrecting the Saw featurette. A bunch of other featurettes. Here, I'll just pause it and you guys can read it yourself. There it is. Tons of featurettes, alternate opening. Five minute massacres. On-set short subjects. Interesting. And then separately, by the way, separately, it's in 1080p high definition, widescreen. It's got English, audio, Spanish subtitles, whatever, right? That's how you do it. Also come with digital copy and ultraviolet. I don't have that. It's not included in this, okay? Bought it, used, whatever. There it is, everyone. The Texas Chainsaw Movies. Here, let's do it like that. That looks nice, right? There you go. We'll make this a thumbnail of this video. Thumbnail. Alright. Thank you for watching everyone. When a new Letterface movie comes out, I'll be sure to watch it also. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll make more horror movies as the months go by. It is October when I'm uploading these videos. And uh, yeah, if you guys have a series that you recommend or whatever, let me know. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys later.